Hi, my name's Reggie Hundley and I'm here with David Empson. I'm with Mission Services, the Executive Director, and David is the Executive Director of the International Conference on Missions, better known in the Brotherhood as the ICOM. Uh, we're here today to explain uh, to everyone some exciting events that uh, uh, are just being announced uh, and uh, will continue on uh, in the next few weeks. Uh, let me explain why we are about to make the announcement. Uh, a few months ago, uh, I announced to the Board of Mission Services that I wanted to step aside as the Executive Director after 20 plus years uh, on July 1st of 2017. I'm going to become the CEO of the Christian Church's Pension Plan at that time because I thought it was time for the Missions Network and Mission Services to have new leadership uh, and some new direction. And when I handed that information to our board, uh, I gave them the challenge to think about the strategic position of mission services and what is best for the kingdom in the future. Uh, and our board uh, was unanimous in its decision uh, to offer to the ICOM uh, the work that we do. Uh, the work, you know, just give them the missions network and any other part of the work that we do uh, and let that continue on through their auspices. And so I wanted to have David with me here today uh, to just talk a briefly, talk a minute about uh, his initial thoughts. What were your thoughts, David, when we first talked about the possibility of merging the missions network mm -hmm. and maybe the printing ministry in with the ICOM? Well, I had been praying for well over a year about how do I get more engaged with missionaries. You know, my predecessor, Walter Burney, knew so yeah. many. And working up through the student program, I knew some, but yet still there are so many missionaries that are independents or all around the world and things that, that we, we don't even know who they are or where they are. So we've been praying for some way to get into that and to get more directly involved with them. So to me, it was like, wow, that this was an opportunity, that it's a gift, it's, you know, you've prepared this in a way for this to happen in this way that we're excited about. We're excited yeah. to grow in that way. Good. And it also help us increase our input and communication directly with missionaries. We want that badly. Okay. Uh, how do you see this benefiting maybe long term, uh, the ICOM and, and the kingdom? Uh, mm -hmm. Because the, the merger, uh, some people talk about merger mania in, in our brotherhood. And, and I really, uh, that can be a good thing or it can be said in a negative way. I, I personally think this is good. Mm -hmm. And how do you see this working to the benefit of ICOM and the kingdom as, as time goes on? Well, like you said, the work will continue. It, even though there, it won't be two organizations, they'll become one. We will continue what you all have done. And I've known about mission services since I was a boy. Yeah. Through college, my missions bra went on and on about you know, mission services and, and the value they had to our mission yeah. movement. So I've, I've remembered that, and you've done so well in developing this website. And that's one thing where we are, is we wanted the stories. So it's right. just so funny that you had four E's in your mission statement, we had three E's, right. and yet we have the conference, what brings us, and you have the stories, and we're wanting to bring all this online. Right. And, and so it's just really a hand-in-glove opportunity as we see it yeah. in order to propagate the very thing you've been doing along with the way that we're going to do it. Yeah. So we're very excited. I just think it'll help ICOM grow stronger. We want to get more missionaries involved in the conference, which we think will make the conference stronger. Yeah. I do too. And then at the same time, make us stronger together as a group to where we will not um, lose touch with missionaries, but yet, you know, just even grow stronger that way. Yeah. Will last, last longer. I think so. I think so. Uh, I want to close by letting everyone know that this was a difficult decision uh, because Mission Services had just turned 70 years old. Uh, and I had been the executive director uh, for 20 years. And uh, as I said, I felt like we needed something new, uh, some new energy uh, at Mission Services. And 
uh, for the particularly for the missions network and and how that works with the website, the app, uh, all of those things because we're doing the very same things we've always done, and that is telling the stories that God is writing on the mission field through faithful hearts and faithful servants and and changing lives all over the world and the challenges and the and the great victories that that missionaries have, uh, and our board said. You know, this really works better if we do this together. And so I'm excited about that. I, I'm looking forward to, to, to that time. Uh, we need our supporters to continue with us through June 30 of 2017 in particular because the ministry doesn't stop. We're continuing to do what we do, but we are also transitioning all of this to the ICOM, and so we're going to have to be working together, and so the, the, the expenses are going to continue for mission services through that time. And then once this happens, we want everyone to transfer, we want to encourage everyone to transfer the support of mission services over to the ICOM because, again, the work doesn't stop. Right. The work continues. Right. The missions network, the, the, the core ministry of telling the stories that God is writing day by day still continues. It's just going to be done jointly under the auspices mm -hmm. of the International Conference on Missions. And so you're going to have a 365 presence in the kingdom. Right. And, uh, and All and those we, hits you get every, every month that tell the stories. Um, we want those relationships with those missionaries, too. Yeah, you do. We want to hear those stories. We want to propagate those the same way you've been doing for a long time. Right. So we're, thr we're th thrilled to death. We thank you very, very much, well, you and your board, for this opportunity. Well, we're looking forward to it, David. Thank you. Thanks. And uh, for all of the supporters of both missions, stay with us. It's going to be great in the future.